Crazy Tea Readers, are you ready for my bookshelf tour? Because I'm so excited. It's been so long since I've had all my books in a bookshelf and I finally put them all in there and I wanted to film this before I bought any more because they fit like practically perfectly right now. So if I buy any more, I'm going to have to like shift them all around again. So I'm just going to film a tour now and then, you know, at a later date I can do an updated, uh, an updated one. Um, but I'm really excited, so I hope you enjoy and I'll just show you all the little things that are in my little book room too. So, yay! This is the top of my bookshelf. I will show you what I have. I have some of my favorite movies. The Goonies, When Harry Met Sally, Love Actually, Bridget Jones's Diary, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, The Holiday, Notting Hill, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. I have the other ones, but not in here. Uh, Practical Magic, Jane Austen Book Club, Waking Ned Divine, which is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen, Daddy Daycare, Life As We Know It, Miss Congeniality, and then my ultimate favorite, I have the two disc like collector's edition thing of Pride and Prejudice, the 2005 version with Keira Knightley. And then the Bananagrams, and if you haven't played Bananagrams, I mean, you don't know what you're missing. In this little basket here, I have all of my uh, TBR books for the month. This is where I keep them. So if you didn't see my October TBR video, I have Anna Dressed in Blood, Criers Cross, The Name of the Star, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea, I'm going to reread Insurgent and Jane Eyre. And I'm currently reading Near Witch by Victoria Schwab. I have a butterfly back here. I'm obsessed. I have a butterfly ring, and which I wear every day. And I also have this butterfly bookmark, as well as this Wizard of Oz bookmark. And all those good stuff. And <laughs> that wasn't proper English, but whatever. <laughs> and here I have a whole bunch of different tickets from like um, different movies and parks and concerts that I've been to. And then Cozy Tea Reads. Of course I have some tea. These are all like specialty teas, like black chocolate tea and um, like berry white tea. They smell amazing. And then I have my little teapot, which I got at, I haven't used, it's kind of just for decoration right now, but I got, I got it at TJ Maxx for $10. Can you say deal and a half? And then I just have some magazines that are like kind of like collectors. I have One Direction, Hunger Games number one, Hunger Games number two, Hunger Games number three. And the Empire edition of Harry Potter when the final movie was coming out. I also have this chair. It's really big and comfy. My great aunt passed away and um, she left the chair for me. And I absolutely love it. It's so pretty. Okay, and here's just a little overview of my bookshelf. There are two rows of books in each little square thing. The whole top row and the first three of the bottom are all just, you know, in alphabetical order by author. And then the bottom uh, right are my classics and those are in alphabetical order by author as well. So let's get started. On the front row of my first shelf I have uh, I Like Me by Nancy Carlson. This was um, the first book that I ever read by myself when I was five years old so I've just kept it ever since because I just thought it was special. The next book I have is Jane Austen's Little Advice Book by Catherine Mikan and Pamela Norris. It's just, I'm obsessed with Jane Austen, as you will see throughout this bookshelf tour. The next three books that I have are by Sarah Addison Allen, The Peach Keeper, The Girl Who Chased the Moon, and The Sugar Queen. She's one of my favorite authors. Her books are really whimsical and quirky, and they're really great. Then I have Writing Jane Austen by Elizabeth Aston, Obsidian, the first book in the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I haven't read it yet, but I can't wait. Shipbreaker and The Drowned Cities by Paolo Bacigalupi, who has the best last name ever, might I add. Um, White Cat by Holly Black. The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. The Sweetness at the Bottom of the Pie by Alan Bradley. Uh, this is a, mis a mystery series. I have not finished this one yet, so I don't have any of the other ones. Beauty Queens by Libba Bray, and Queen of Babel by Meg Cabot. And then the second row of that first shelf is Avalon High by Meg Cabot, which is one of my favorite books by her. She's such a fantastic author, and I used to own more of her books. I must have given them away or something at a yard sale. The Goddess Test by Amy Carter, Heist Society by Ally Carter, which I have not read yet, but I've heard such amazing things, so I'm really looking forward to it. Graceling by Kristen Kishore. The Selection and The Elite by Kira Cass, which are not my favorite, but um, I still enjoyed them, and they are just the most beautiful covers 
Oh, they're so pretty. Next I have Clockwork Angel, which I know I'm missing the cover. Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess by, oh no, by Cassandra Clare, which I just did a review of them, so if you would like to see that, you can just, I'll put a link below. And then next I have City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. All right, at the front of my next shelf, I have the rest of this trilogy, City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare and City of Glass. I don't have the other two that are out right now yet because, uh, well, these three were just my favorite. I might buy those in the future, I'm not sure. And then The Summer of Us by Holly Chamberlain. It's just kind of like a chiclet novel. And then The Hunger Games trilogy by Suzanne Collins, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, which is fantastic. And then I have the Match trilogy by Ali Condi, which have beautiful covers as well. Match and reached. And then I have The Maze Runner by James Dashner. And then in the second row of this shelf, I have Seriously, I'm Kidding by Ellen DeGeneres, who is my favorite person on the planet. Body Finder by Kimberly Durding, and I know I don't have the cover to that one either. And then I have Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen, which is the only one I have, or that I own of hers, but I have read the majority of her books. And then I have Entwined by Heather Dixon, which is gorgeous. And then Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly, and I love this cover. And then Elixir by Hilary Duff. Love Story by Jennifer Eccles. The Marriage Plot by Jeffrey Eugenides. Eugenides. <laughs> and then I have Bridget Jones's Diary and Bridget Jones, The Edge of Reason by Helen Fielding which are hysterical. Some of the funniest books I've ever read. And then I have My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. And then Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, which I have not read. Um, I probably will in the future. Then I have I, Coriander by Sally Gardner. I read it when I was in middle school. I remember absolutely loving it. And starting on this shelf, I have Ruby Red and Sapphire Blue, which are both by Kirsten Gear, and they're beautiful. I haven't read them yet. I just got them and I can't wait to read them. They're gorgeous. And then I have Nori Ryan's Song by Patricia Riley Giff. I've also read this in middle school. Loved it. It's about the Irish famine. And then The Measure of a Lady by Deanne Gist, or Gist. And then The Lux by Anna Gobbers, Gobbers. And I have tried to read this like three times. I don't know if it's the book or me, but I will continue to try to read it in the future. <laughs> and then I have The American Heiress by Daisy Goodwin. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, and the next two are by John Green as well, Looking for Alaska, and Bill Grayson, Will Grayson, which is also by David Levithan. And I have Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, The Freedom Writer's Diary, which is, um, there was a movie based on this, I don't know if it was based on the book or just the actual people, but anyway, this is about the real people that the movie was about, it's very good. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. And then in the back I have my Shannon Hale books, which are, yeah, oh no, which are Austin Land, which has recently been made into a film, and it hasn't, it's not having like a major, you know, um, film release, so it's only at little theaters, and it hasn't been at one near me yet, and I'm really sad. And then I have Princess Academy, which was one of my all-time favorite books in middle school. It's so good. Goose Girl, but um, I also read Anna Burning by her, which was fantastic. They're so good. And then Book of a Thousand Days by Shannon Hale as well. And then I have The Juliet Club by Suzanne Harper, which is really cute, just kind of like a fluffy, quick read. The Cupcake Queen by Heather Helper. Hep, I mean Hepler, <laughs> which is the same thing. Fluffy, cute read. Nothing like the next ones, which are, oh goodness, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer and The Evolution of Mara Dyer. These books are fantastic by Michelle Hodkin. If you haven't read them yet, read them. The third book comes out sometime next year. And then I have Precious Blood by Tanya Hurley. Uh, I got this for free when I went to see the City of Bones movie. They were just handing books out at the cashier, I mean at the register. And then I have Juliet Immortal, which is kind of like a retelling of um, Romeo and Juliet, sort of, kind of. I'm not sure I haven't read it yet, but it sounds good. My Jane Austen Summer by Cindy Jones. I told you there was going to be a lot of Jane Austen stuff. You just wait. And then I have The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. 
And then in the t last top shelf, I have Fallen by Lauren Kate, which I enjoyed, but I didn't like love, so I don't have the other sequels. And then I have Things I Can't Forget and Catching Jordan by Miranda Keneally. And I loved Catching Jordan, and I can't wait to read this one because it was just so good. And then I have The Duff by Cody Keplinger, which wasn't a book I would normally read, but I enjoyed it enough. It was pretty good. And then I have The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd, which is one of the best books I've ever read. I highly, highly recommend it. And then I have Moon Glass, which is gorgeous. The cover is stunning by Jesse Kirby. Becoming Jane Eyre, which is it's like a fictional story about the Bronte sisters and, you know, when they wrote their novels. Oh, by Sheila Kohler. And then I have Ferris by Gail Carson Levine, who is one of my favorite authors in middle school. Um, she also wrote The Two Princesses of Bamar and Ella Enchanted. She's fantastic. And then I have Dash and Lily's Book of Dares by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. Legend and oh no. Prodigy by Marie Lou. Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Moss. This is the UK cover, but I wanted the paperback. I didn't want to pay for the hardcover, so I mean, they're both really cool looking though, so no worries. And then I have Shatter Me by Tahir Mafi, which I haven't read yet. I need to read it, but I want to get the, the other paperback because it's so much prettier. Cool. And then in the back row, I have What the Dickens by Gregory M Gregory Maguire. I got this as a birthday, no, Christmas present. I haven't read it, um, but it does sound really good, so I probably will in the future. And then I have Amy and Roger's Epic Detour. Loved this. Cried the whole time. Please. Under the Tuscan Sun by Francis Mays. Then I have Hourglass and Timepiece by Myra McIntyre. The third in the trilogy is out. Uh, if you haven't read these, I highly recommend them. They're really, really good. They're kind of about time travel, and they're just really unique from any other books that I've, YA books that I've read. Um, and the covers are stunning. They're stunning. I need to get the third one. And then I have Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry, which is my first Katie McGarry book. I haven't read it yet, but I look forward to it because I've only heard good things. And then from Notting Hill with Love Actually, which is just like a chiclet, and it has Notting Hill and Love Actually in the title. Therefore... It's my kind of book. Peculiars, which has such a stunning cover that I don't have, but, um, yes, me. The Host by Stephanie Meyer, which I also didn't have the dust jacket for. The ones that I don't have dust jackets for, I got for really cheap online, um, so that's why. And they're used. And then I have Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Uh, Scarlet is in the mail, so I should have that soon. I'm really excited to read those. And then I have The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Alright guys, so I was just editing the bookshelf tour and I had to stop after doing the, doing the top four shelves because it would have been way too long and I don't want to make you guys sit there for too long if you don't want to. What if you have to go pee? I mean, what are you going to do? So, oh, I guess there is the pause button. Okay, just, I'm just going to stop it here and then I will put the second half up uh, just right afterwards, very soon. So you should just be able to go right on over to that if you want to. So go click on that and yes, thank you for watching.